The Warlock Exotic Helmet, the Nezarek Sin, maintains the trend of many Warlock Exotics in Destiny 2. Other Warlock Exotics, like the Eye of Another World and the Karnstein Armlets, have similarities with the Nezarek Sin. Just because they are similar exotics, it doesn't necessarily mean any of these exotics are bad. And in the case of the Nezarek Sin, it is quite the opposite. So what does the Sins actually do? The exotic perk Abyssal Extractors grants an increased energy recharge rate, but only for void damage kills. Again, that's a pretty open statement, just saying increased ability energy, so we'll see what this perk really does. If you get a void damage kill, whether it be with a subclass ability such as a void grenade, melee or super, or kill with a void energy or power weapon, you will trigger the Nezarek Sin perk. For about 2 seconds after a void kill, all of your abilities, including your super, will cool down at a faster rate. Is it a significantly faster cooldown rate? Not really, but it's still something. I think a common misconception with the Nezarek Sin is that it's a void walker specific exotic, and this is not strictly true. Yes, to really maximize the full potential of this exotic, using Void Walker would make sense, since your subclass abilities would also trigger the exotic perk. But using either Stormcaller or Dawnblade is just as viable, providing you are using a Void based weapon loadout. The fact that the Sins are not really bound by any subclass, there is a potential for all the subclass trees to work with the Nezareks. For the sake of the video, I'll put Void Walker aside, since it's going to be the obvious choice for many Guardians, but I believe the true strength of the Nezarek Sins lies with a different subclass. Still, just briefly, the Attunement of Chaos Tree is very strong with the Sins, so if you really like Voidwalker, try it out. Dawnblade is good in its own right with the Sins too, but I'd say the best build for the Nazarek Sins would be the Stormcaller. In my opinion, the Rising Storm perk is one of the most versatile melee attacks in the game. Since just by hitting a target, not even killing it, you are given super, grenade, and even melee energy back. Strictly speaking, the Stormcaller melee has one of the fastest base cooldowns, since the melee charge cannot go below about 25% due to the Rising Storm perk. The other perks in the Achievement of Element skill tree are not overly important in the build, but honestly, Landfall, Arc Souls, and Electrostatic Surge are valuable in their own way. For most activities, actually probably all activities, Pulse Grenades are the best choice, with the Rift type and Jump being open to preference. Stormcaller is clearly not a Void based subclass, so we need to choose our weapons appropriately. For the energy weapon, I had the most success with Void Submachine Guns and Burst Sidearms, or for longer ranged combat, try a Void Scout Rifle. For the power weapon slot, a Void Sword is very useful but a Void Shotgun or Fusion will work okay too. Alright, got the build, got the guns, how do we want this to work? The exotic perk on the Nezarek Sin is not multiplicative, so killing multiple enemies simultaneously is not really worth the effort. For example, since the increased recharge rate only lasts for about 2 seconds, killing 5 enemies with a Void Rocket is far less efficient than killing them one at a time with a Void Sword. The longer you space out your kills, the higher the benefit you'll get from the Sin's exotic perk. Getting back to the subclass, we want to make the absolute most out of the Rising Storm perk. So as soon as we have a melee charged, use it on anything, then get back to working on adds with either your Void Energy or Void Heavy Weapon. This is why the Void Sword is very useful, because it only really works on one enemy at a time, which would constantly refresh the exotic perks buff and continue to quickly cool down your abilities. Once your melee is charged, which shouldn't take too long with the Rising Storm and the Nezarek Sin perk, hit something else and keep going until you have your super. This sort of method with faster cooldowns really reminded me of the exotic Pulse Rifle Bear Juju in Destiny 1, just not quite as effective as that was though. You'll see pretty quickly that you can build up a super much faster than usual, without significantly impeding the way you would already play, just ensuring you have void weapons equipped. So what do you guys think of the Nezarek Sin? Have you been lucky enough to get them? Do you like them? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys.